Hey everyone, today I want to share something exciting about my learning journey. You see, I don't go to a traditional school like most people do. Instead, I've chosen a path of open learning where I want to explore the world and absorb the knowledge from wherever I am. Today, I want to take you through one of my recent favorite topics, fishes. They come in all different shapes, sizes, textures and colors and they live in some of the most interesting places on the earth. So let's just dive in. Today I'll show you my research on different fishes. As part of my monthly research, I chose fish as my topic. I will show you how I learned about them and show you my drawings as well. The Devil's Hole Pupfish. It's the rarest fish in the world. Uh, and it's located in Nevada, US. Uh, it can consume anything, nearly anything, available at Devil's Hole, including beetles, algae, and snails with a, diet, with a diet that varies throughout the year. The red lionfish. It is native to the reefs of uh, rocky crevices of the Indo-Pacific. And it's, uh, they named it like that because it represents the mane of the lion. Red handfish. They have fins which represent uh, human hands and they use them to walk across the sea floor. This fish was found in Tasmania's Frederick Henry, Henry Bay. So, and um, population of just 100 adults, uh, they believe that are there. Females lay eggs on vertical objects like sponges and, gray, uh, and sea grasses. Frilled sharks, aka alien sharks, they are, they are considered living fossils because of their eel-like physical traits. They have a 6.6 .6 foot long body and they are marine and freshwater vertebrates. They have a diet of cephalophodes. They also eat squid, octopus, cuttlefish, basically marine animals. Smaller sharks and bony sharks. They have razor-like uh, like teeth. Okay, this one is, uh, the name sounds very weird, but it's very beautiful. Uh, it's, it, this fish is Hawaii's designated state fish. The name translates to trigger fish with a snout like a pig. It is notoriously aggressive and is uh, well known for heinous deeds. This fish is dual spine, which allows it to move into narrow spaces and narrow crevices when threatened or menaced. It eats, it eats sea urchins, brittle stars, snails, and shrimp. It's called as Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Kua Pua Ah. Okay, so this one is called Red Lipped Batfish or the Galapagos Batfish. It is an unusual fish found in the Galapagos uh, Islands near Peru. These weird, unusual fish but cool at the same time. They have a diet of small fish, mollusks, and crustaceans like shrimp and crabs. They have red lips because uh, they can attract prey. And uh, yes, they have fins that resemble legs, but they are capable of swimming. They usually walk on the sea floor. While drawing this, I was getting, it was so hard to do the shadings, but it came out good. Goblin shark. These sharks live in the deep ocean. However, they pose no threat to us. They are slow-moving bottom feeders and they prey on bony fish and cephalophones. They have a set of jaws for catching prey and they, are, they have the fastest fish in the jaw, uh, fastest fish in the ocean. Their mouth moves really fast. This is the mouth and they go fast, really fast, other than my hand. So, you can only see it in slow motion. They are really hard to catch with the eye. Neptune grouper or garnish hind, nept uh, gold bar grouper or Japanese cod is a deep water species of marine fish, uh, a marine ray fin fish. They are found in uh, Japan, east to Fiji and uh, south to Australia. They, uh, they are freshwater fish and it's extremely hard to take it up to the surface as it cannot handle the change in water pressure. Shield shrimp. They are small freshwater shrimp. The scientific name of this, uh, this dude is Triop. They come from Europe, grow larger and they live the longest. They are known, they are known as the ancient creatures as they can, as they watched the dinosaurs pass by. 
and die. They have evolved the ability to breathe with their feet. The fish have gills on their neck side, but these dudes have uh, gills in the lower side of their feet. They have three eyes. One eye is for sensing light, so they know which way is up. The other two look out for predators and snacks. The triops are 220 million years old, so they've seen huge dinosaurs come and go. Stonefish. They are the most venom venomous fishes known. It uh, It's gray and it is camouflaged color similar to the stone. Some swimmers may not notice it and either inadvertently step on them. They live in Indo-Pacific coastal regions and they are mostly marine, but some species live in the rivers. Stonefish have the ability to extend their sharp and specialized spine uh, as an additional defense of mechanism. The drawing which I've done doesn't look similar to the one of the real picture, but this one was pretty hard to make as the paper was going to tear, but still it came out good. This is, uh, people don't consider Glaucus Atlanticus, but they, are, uh, they uh, call it as blue dragon. And it's one of my mother's favorite fishes. These, uh, these fishes are very small and they look like a dragon. People wish to lift it in their palms, but it can sting and it can also kill. It is said that due to the gas filled in their stomach, it flows on the water of the sea. So people who uh, want to hold them are advised to keep their distance from the creature. These fishes eat blue bottles and jellyfishes, peppermint and angelfish. This fish is found in the South Pacific Ocean and it's known to be the Cook Islands, New Zealand. Its diet is mostly with worms, crustaceans and sponges and tunicates and bellicules. It is small. It has. It's been in small pairs or small groups. It's uh, mostly found in the depths of 180 to 394 feet, mostly the deep caves, uh, situated in the steep outer slopes of the reefs. So they're mostly in the caverns, hiding in the core or rubble. Small to so a sawfish. You can probably understand why it's called as a sawfish. It's called because of its long nose, which represents a saw. It's, uh, it's found in the Caribbean, Atlantic, and the Gulf of Mexico. These are mostly found in coastal marine, estuarian, brackish waters. They are often found in areas with mangrove or seagrasses. It is critically endangered species and has disappeared from its historical range. Twait shad or twait shad is found in the east, eastern Atlantic Ocean and the Med, uh, Mediterranean Sea. It can have six to ten dark spots behind the gill, uh, as it's in the picture and the drawing. These may fade away when they die, so the population of these fishes have reduced to the uh, pollution of overfishing habitat destruction. It is more likely affected by human disturbances. This is called tequila split, split fish. Uh, in the drawing, I didn't use any black uh, outline. I just did it with water and paint. Uh, this fish is found in the American River Basin in West Central Mexico. Uh, it's only found in 30 feet uh, where it lives. And it's a population of uh, consisting less than 50 adult fish. American paddlefish. This can be a species of ray fin fish. It's the only living species of uh, paddlefish. The family is closely related to sturgeons. Ornate sleeper ray. This one might be my favorite ray of all the rays. It lives on uh, reefs feeding on polychaete worms and small crustaceans. It's uh, found to the coast of South Africa. The scientific name is named after the Electrolux uh, vacuum cleaner company. The name alludes describing authors tentatively suggest that it may possibly be critically dangerous, but not also. They conclude that it would, uh, more observations need to be made before its conservation status can be properly assessed. European sea sturgeon. They have like bones that show outside, so it has like spikes. You can see in my drawing uh, more clearly. It's also known as Atlantic sea sturgeon. 
aka a common sturgeon. It's a species of sturgeon uh, native to Europe. It is currently a critically endangered species. Rainbow Cribnesses People share mostly commonly sold under the name of Cribnesses, although it has other common names as Crib, Common Crib, Red Crib, Super Red Crib, Red, rainbow crib, rainbow chichilate, and purple chichilate. Uh, these fishes are lo- uh, native to Nigeria, coastal uh, areas of Cameroon. These, uh, these uh, feed on worms, crustaceans, and insects. The drawing which I did was very hard, uh, hard to match with the actual drawing because my type of drawing is different than that. This is a mandarin fish, one of my mother's favorite too. This is also called as a mad, uh, mandarin dragonet. It's uh, relate, native to the Pacific Islands, mostly Ryukyu Islands, south to Australia. It can usually be found in some of the warmer waters. The generic name Syncopricus is from ancient Greek meaning together and Rhyukopricus meaning handfoot. The specific epithet uh, uh, is uh, from the Latin for bright or glittering. As you can see, it's really bright for the eyes. So, yeah. And this is a butterfly fish. And you can see the fins next to the uh, tail. So it's looking like a butterfly's fin. They're mostly a group of conspicuous, uh, conspicuous uh, tropical marine fish. They are mostly 129 species and are found in reefs of the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Ocean. Hope you learned about some new fish. There you have it. My journey of learning about fishes as an open learner. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and found it just as interesting as I did. Through this series, I want to take you all along my learning journey. I'll be sharing the lessons I've learned. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to see more of my open learning adventures, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss on any of the future explorations. Until next time, happy learning. Bye-bye.